Web Gauntlet, can you beat the filters? Login as admin. We have two links here, one to a filter and one to the website itself. Let's see what our hints are. You can't log in as admin. Write down the injections we use. For some filters, maybe hard to see the characters. Always, always look at the raw hex and response. SQLite. And if your cookie keeps getting reset, try a private browser window. Okay, well, let's see what we've got going on here. So here we are, there's our filter. It looks like it's gonna filter the word or. Um, so normally like in your very first SQL injection, you'd say something like admin or one equals one. And you'd comment out the rest of the line. Uh, but presumably it's not gonna let me do that. And you'll see that the connection was reset. Um, it usually means that I have some sort of SQL error. So if we just do like admin or like blah, tick space or tick one tick equals tick one. So connection was reset. All right, so let's try something a little bit different here. Uh, we think it's going to be filtering or. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say admin tick. Then I'll just comment out the rest of the line and see what happens there. I'll put in some sort of password. Okay, so you'll see what ended up with my query was select star from users where username is admin. And then I commented out the password check. So that, that got me through round one. I'm on to round two. In round two, it says that we're now filtering or and like equals and double dash. Okay, so. Or and like, so now I can't do that comment trick that I had before, but I can probably do a different trick. So I'm still going to comment out some things. So there's a different way I can do commenting. And let's do admin tick will comment out except select one one. So what this is gonna say is I want to select from users where the username is admin. I'm going to comment out the and password equals, and I'm going to do an accept select, which is going to say, take everything from the first part, accept things that are in the second part. Since it was selecting uh, username and password, I'm going to put two things here. It'll add a closing quote for me, and that should do it, we hope. Um, well, let's see, you can't see what I typed. So let's put that up here so you'll be able to see what I typed. I said slash star except select one one. That's what I had in my password field. That's not really working very well. So let's see, maybe we'll open up them. So that's what I'm going to actually put in there. So I have admin tick. That's going to go here where it's the username equals. I'm going to comment out this and and the password, and then when I get to here, I'm going to close that comment except select one, 
one, and then it'll add that closing tick for me. All right, so congrats, we're on to round three. So you'll see here with query was, it was that username is admin, I've commented out the and password equals, I have my accept select one one, it added that closing quote for me at the end. So this was selecting the user admin, and then I was doing a set subtraction of one one, which wasn't in there, so that wasn't really doing anything, that was basically a no op. All right, so here we are in round three, let's see what our filter is now. Okay, so this got a little bit bigger. And it's, I can't view the page source. But I think there's probably a space there that's really going to mess me up because all of my queries so far have had spaces in them. So let's try to test that theory. If I just say like admin space blah, yeah, you'll see it didn't do that. So I say admin blah without a space, it gives me that, that query that I typed in. All right, so it's definitely filtering the space now. Uh, let's see. So what we can do is we'll say admin Tick, we just won't have a space. We'll comment out um, all the way to the end. So in VI, I'll show you what I'm typing now. So I'm going to do at that admin tick open, and then I'm going to close the comment. I'm going to do this double pipe, which is going to concatenate tick. So it should make my username be admin concatenated with the empty string. And that should do it for me, I think. So let's come here, we'll sign in. Congrats on round four. So you'll see what I did is username is admin. I commented out this and password equals. I then concatenated on the empty string at the end. That gets me to round four. So in round four, okay, so, oh, now we're going to get admin. So I can't do my same trick with admin, but I could just modify it ever so slightly. So I'll just do ADM and I'm going to concatenate with IN. So here in my next thing I'm going to do slash star tick IN. So we're going to get ADM concatenated with IN. And we'll comment it out that and password in the middle. We'll sign in. Congrats, we're on to round five. And really in round five, they've just added union. We weren't even using union. So I should be able to do the same thing. I'll do ADM, concatenate with, comment it out, close the comment, tick IN. And now it says, congrats, you won. Check out filter PHP, right? So this is my key thing here, ADM, close that, concatenate with, comment out all of this stuff about the password, and then we're just concatenating to get username is ADMIN. Let's look at our filter now. And there is actually the entire source code of the filter, along with a comment here, which is Pico CTF, you made it. So there's my flag, and you can see the filters that were all along the way. And as I suspected, they introduced that uh, space somewhere in the middle as we were going. Okay.